Alright, about to get into this game one. And we're starting on Yoshi's. Oh, what a brutal start for Brad already. Damn, Ruben all over him right now. Oh, he was actionable. What happened? How did that happen? Oh, this could be a stock right there. Raven's got to watch out. <laughs> Alright, Raven doing a really good job right now. He's just uh, really pulling ahead and trading in all the right places. Scrattles just does not... Um, just rather, he d not that he doesn't hit the punishes, but right now... He hasn't gotten any real good hit confirms into some big attacks to kill this Samus. Nice shine though. Got a got a chance to edge guard here. Goes for the F smash, and we have Musket joining me on the microphone. Hello, hello. We have some headphones there. If you want to listen in? Oh yeah. yeah. Here we are, and we have this new mic, very fancy. Yeah, this is um, we've seen. Oh, this is a staple, right? Group yes, of it is. It's like over the years. Um, there's been some ups and downs, mostly downs for Brad. He's gotten the sneaky set win, but Ruben's <laughs> definitely quite favored. Ruben very, very solid against Fox, right? Yeah, Ruben's like, really, really clean against him. Mm. And it's a matchup that a lot of Foxes struggle with. Even if, like, it's not like Samus doesn't win it, but it's awkward. It's. It's like. The problem is, Samus is so inclined to CC and um, drill. So when you drill Samus, her like flinch animation, she kind of like, yeah, her flinch animation makes it like, makes her hurt box um, shrink up a bit. So it's really hard to get like drill shine. That makes sense, right? Because at the moment, uh, Straddles just hasn't really gotten that like clean follow up hit. Yeah. And that's oh, punish! Oh my god! <laughs> he, he, I mean, he probably knew that if he went in with like a drill that it would probably get STI'd there. Yeah. So, I mean, <laughs> just take the damage, but you could have gotten something else. Just grab even. Oh, Ooh, okay, we get that. We get the up, you know, percent, but then he goes for a follow up and it's just like. Samus loves it when Fox goes for like. Dishonest follow ups because she's gonna nair out, right? Yeah, exactly, right? All right, game two, where are we going though? Mm. FD. Ready, what do you think about FD versus Samus actually? Um, Cause this is something that like, I got, I got no clue about, hey. It's good in the sense, <clears throat> it's good in the sense that like, when Samus up feeds out a shield and she's going up feeding out a shield a lot, right? Unless she's near the edge of the stage, you pretty much get a free punish as long as you don't get hit. Okay. So okay. like, you can play the game of like, Say nearing her shield, doing a late nand, and shielding yourself to bait out the up the shield. Mm-hmm. Um, Ruben's ground game on ground game on FD is so it's like it's incredibly solid, right? Like he's he's so comfortable just wave dashing back, poking with F tilt. Um, both against Fox and Falco, right? It's not looking too bad for Brat though. No, but the thing is, how is he closing out the stock? The problem is, like, you want to get a drill shine, right? You want to get a drill shine into an up smash, but it's so hard to actually get that shine to connect after the drill. Especially if, even if Samus doesn't SDI, it can be hard at times. And like, if Samus is SDIing, then it's just 
You have to catch out for running shine, maybe? Uh, it's starting to like escape Brad right now. Yeah. And he's going for these Hail Mary options. Alright, whatever. Now what happened, right, is Fox? You start getting impatient, the damage starts creeping up on your like you've already lost your stock and then you're at 60 and you're like, crap, I still need to get this like close out the sound uh, stock. No refresh when he grabbed the ledge there and he just fails the ledge dash. It's, mm. it's one thing to be like, oh yeah, I'm just gonna like quickly ledge dash back and like own him. But I think if you're good, if you're really good at the game, you wanna do the you wanna do the refresh. Because if you do it right, it's invincible. Mm. So just do it. Oh, Okay, I yeah. like the full hop there from Brad. There's an argument though for like immediately doing the ledge dash to give your opponent less time to react to it though. Yeah, but um, that can put them in like a rhythm, you know? Like, yeah. People start to expect the instant ledge dash, mm. and then it just becomes like the easiest ledge trap that you can do. Yeah. It's just you wait for the immediate ledge dash, and then if they don't do it, then it's like, okay, sweet, I'm not in any trouble. Oh, Ruben going all the way out. So I guess the key is to like mix up, because if you just refresh every time as well, that's also a ribbon, right? Yeah, so exactly. Like, yeah. So, in my opinion, it's good to go for refreshes like often, because mm. then the instant ledge dash actually becomes effective. Sure. Like you have to make the opponent like respect you being on the ledge first before you can really go for that instant ledge dash. Mm -hmm. Or like you can do the opposite and like just go up for the first time, hit it, and then you can make the you can make them like really respect you on the ledge. But right. quick That's one for Nangs, and he goes with a two O. Up next is uh, Yukai and Black Shadow. Oh, sweet as. Yep. Let's do it.